Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my afternoon tea time on a card. I am actually on episode number 11. So welcome, everyone. I can see everybody coming on. So this is an afternoon tea time on a card that I try to do every two weeks. And I'm so glad you guys belong to my Stampin' Ink Designs group. And today I did a poll um, a couple of weeks ago asking you guys the choice of two card folds. And the winner was this buckle card fold. So this little piece on the front actually comes out of that little hole. It's almost like a little belt and it just buckles right in there. So that's what I'm going to show you how to make today. And I'm using a really neat stamp set that I used for the first time called On To Adventure. These little images are just a riot. They make me laugh. I'm actually using this little girl right here and I, I just giggled when I took her out to use. Aren't they funny? Look at this little guy with this little golf guy. He's hilarious. Now, let me show you the um, cardstock that I'm using today. I'm using Blackberry Bliss and this is four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Another piece of Blackberry Bliss measuring seven and a quarter by two inches. And then I have two pieces of the Perennial Essence Designer Paper. This one measures four by five and a quarter, and then four by two and a half. I've gone ahead and cut out some of the circles that I'm using. This one is the Pretty Peacock with the stitched circle die, and it would be the number two die in the set of circles. I've got another circle I cut with the two inch circle punch in Whisper White. A layer of white measuring three and three eighths by one and three quarters. So we get quite a few pieces of cardstock. A scrap piece of uh, crushed curry. And I'm also using the little flowers from the Frosted Flowers Embellishment. Pretty Peacock Ink. And then for punches, I've got the one inch circle punch and the classic label punch. So let me bring in my scoring tool so we can score a couple of these pieces of cardstock. Now on the larger piece of the Rich Rat or the Blackberry Bliss, we're going to score at five and a half. And then the smaller piece, we're going to score at three and five eighths. Now for those of you guys that are not good with measurements, the three and five eighths is the little tiny line past the three and a half. You just need to go over one. Now, let me bring my bone folder. We're going to fold this both on the score lines and we'll start gluing our designer paper layers. Now the Perennial Essence Designer Paper, if you haven't seen, here are all of the patterns on the, on the paper. This paper is beautiful. So I'm using this one here and this one here that kind of coordinate together. The big piece is going to go on the inside. And then the other piece is going to go on the front flap. So that's why I opted to use two designs. I wanted this one to not have any flowers on it so it wouldn't get lost with this background. And I had done the same thing on this card. I used two different uh, designer papers. Now we're going to bring in the classic label punch. And I'm kind of just eyeballing. What I'm doing is I'm making sure that they're both even on both sides. And I'm going to go about in the center Punch that out. So there's my little belt buckle. Next, I'm going to take this, slip it in the inside, but I don't want to glue it down yet. I want to see where it's going to go so that it, it buckles in there. And as you can see, when you pull it out, it's actually pretty centered. So I just wanted to double check on that to make sure that it fit perfectly uh, fine in the hole by gluing this in the center and it does. This little white piece is going to go on the inside. This would be your signature panel. 
This card is so quick that I'm gonna make two of them for you today. Okay, this one, I'm gonna do the pretty peacock. And the sentiment I'm using on the inside is wishing you everything wonderful. I'm going to stamp that over to the left. Now there's where, this is where the little buckle mechanism comes in. So that's all buckled in there. Now I'm going to stamp the little girl, the funny little girl that makes me giggle. And all I'm going to do to color her is bring in a blender pen and use the ink lines just to add a little bit of color. I didn't want to add a lot of color. I wanted to keep her plain and simple. That's it for color. And then I'm going to bring in my little paper piercer and add one of these flowers right where the flower is on her hat. Isn't that just the perfect size? Next, we're going to glue this circle to the strip right here. I'm going to uh, put it over to the left a little bit more because I want to add the sentiment on the right. And here are stamping dimensionals. Now you guys know I can't make a card without using my dimensionals. There's my little funny girl. And now the last step is to stamp the follow your bliss. I'm going to cut that out with a one inch circle punch. And again, I'm going to add a dimensional. And then just kind of sneak this in behind the first circle. So there's card number one, isn't that neat? And again, this just opens by sliding it out of that little hole and then you can put it back in there. So now I'm going to make another one because I had this little um, bright light moment last night. I'm gonna show you what I mean here in a minute. So this, this reminded me of a belt buckle, of course, because it's called a buckle fold. So I thought, wouldn't this make a, a cute Santa card? So what I did, I have the same measurements for the two black. I've got real red that I've gone ahead and embossed with those swirls and curls embossing folder. And then I am using two sentiments from the So Many Stars, which is a new set that'll be available on September 4th. So I'm using the little joy sentiment. And then this one says, may you enjoy this beautiful season. Now let me see what else. So for the belt buckle, I'm using the gold glimmer. I'm using the two squares from the layering squares dies. This one measures two and three eighths and then this one measures two and one eight and all I did was put them down like this on my glimmer paper and it cut out this nice little buckle that I'm going to use so now again let's go ahead and score first oops I just dropped my tool okay so again we're going to score at five and a half and three and five eighths. And now we're going to create a little Santa card. So I'm going to glue, go ahead and glue the white piece on the inside. And I'm going to use real red for ink and I'm also using Versamark for, I'm gonna emboss the front. So for the one on the inside, the real red. So may you enjoy this beautiful season. I'm gonna set that aside. And these are already embossed. I can just go ahead and glue them down. This goes on the inside. This one goes on the flap. 
and that's going to go right on the front. So can you see how this is starting to resemble a Santa suit? Okay, now the classic label punch. Again, I'm going to center. There's my hole. And then this is going to go in the center on the inside. And again, that's going to tuck into the hole that I just created with the punch. Now, before I glue this in place, I want to emboss the joy. So I'm going to use my heat tool. This is my embossing buddy just to remove any static or fingerprints. And I'm actually going to open this up so I can stamp right in the center. Bring in my white embossing folder. Uh, embossing powder, I mean. Hold on, I got a little few little specks here that I need to remove. I usually use a paintbrush when that happens. Okay, I'm going to make some noise just for a few seconds while I heat this up. And then all I have left to do is to glue the gold glimmer buckle to the front. And this card will be done also. So these are pretty quick to assemble once you have everything cut out. Okay, so there's my joy all embossed. Let me tuck that back inside. There's the buckle portion. Now I'm going to bring in the liquid glue and I'm only going to add glue to the two hor uh, vertical sides. And that's going to go right here just like that. Now I just need to let that dry. But isn't that cute? That was the idea that popped in my head last night. So I, I hurried up and went and cut everything out so I'd have it ready for today's class. So there's my two cards for today. And then this was the one that I had created um, a week or so ago. So this is the one you guys had voted on for me to make. And I'll probably do the other one next time because I, I had quite a bit of response on the other card fold too. So thanks so much for joining me for my afternoon tea time and a card. I hope you enjoyed my card for today, everyone. Have a good afternoon.